Hi, my name is Daniel Crantin, and this is Offside. This season's Premier League has been very, very interesting. Obviously, the Premier League, the best league in the world, always serves up a lot of surprises. But what we've experienced in the past couple of game weeks, Manchester City losing 5-2 at home against Leicester City, and the double disaster this weekend, Man United suffering a 6-1 home defeat against Tottenham Hotspur, and then Liverpool just a few hours later suffering a 7-2 defeat at way at Aston Villa. It just shows you how very difficult this league is. Now, what it shows and, and what it highlights is that a lot of teams now going forward are very, very important. We also saw West Brom scoring three goals against Chelsea before Chelsea came back to, to level that particular one. Defensive organisation is very important in this league. If you don't have a good defence, you'll probably not reach anywhere in the, in, the, in the Premier League. And Manchester United, let's just use them as a case study. They've been absolutely pathetic in the last, in fact, post-lockdown, just before the season ended defensively and then carried on to this season. Yes, if you look at last season on the whole, they had a good defensive record, second or third best in the league. But the way they started this, uh, this Premier League season has been absolutely shambolic. Crystal Palace, who don't score a lot, managed to score three at Old Trafford. When you look at the leader at the back, it's supposed to be the captain, Harry Maguire. But if he continues to make these fundamental errors, like what we saw against Manchester City, United are really going to have a very long and difficult season. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to look at his defence as a whole, and the team needs to start learning how to defend properly. You cannot just single out individual players, but obviously, the captain Maguire must also take some responsibility. But that's all for this episode on Offside. My name is Daniel Crunting. Next week.